like to thank Christy Bove uh, of our, the Durham East 4-H uh, Club, who is our ribbon presenter this afternoon. Coming into our ring now will be class number 14, uh, the five-year-old uh, cow class, on September 1st, 2006, August 31st, 2007. Class uh, winner will receive an award from the Green Tractors. The uh, East End is presenting the Best Red Known Award. Hub International presents the best under net present. And once again, Generations is presenting a hundred dollar jackpot uh, to this five year old class. Those marking catalogs, the results of our four year old class. Entry number 184, place 11. 185, place 7. 186 did not show. 187 placed ninth. Entry 188 was sixth. 189 placed fourth. One entry 190 uh, was your class winner and receives an award from uh, Gene Bradley, who's here representing Hamilton Township Mutual Insurance Company, and uh, also is the best utter winner and received the best utter net rosette from Hub International. <coughs> This entry uh, is owned by Karen Milan Sikar and Jolene Demur, Rogla Dundee Allen, the daughter of Regan Press Dundee. Entry 191 was third and was your best bread and owned. And received an award from East Gen on Lynn Press Final Cut Frida, a daughter of Jolene Final Cut. And this entry was owned by Ajahn Barkley Phoenix and Lynn Press Holstein. Entry 192 did not show. Entry 193 was 5th, 194 was 10th, Entry 195 was 8th, Entry 196 was 2nd, Neponia R.D. Elizabeth, uh, daughter of Regan Press Dundee, was shown by Kingsley Farms, Frank Ward Holsteins, and Ronald Leary.
parts on this account for me in our five row class. I admire the dairy strength. I'm giving that advantage over our cow in second. It is on that overall. She's got more openness, more, more depth of four rear flank. This cow more strength throughout over a really nice cow in second. Our cow in second over the cow in third. It's the snub of the mammoth system. She's got more bloom to the rear rear, higher at the top of the rear rear. That quarter blends on nicer to the other wall than does our beautiful dairy cow in third. Closer placing for me between third and fourth, but I just admire the dairy quality in our cow in third over the cow in fourth. The cow showing us the spell of milk dairy throughout. Over this uh, youthful looking cow we have in fourth. Congratulations, thank you.
a lot less likely to lose them before the show day than to lose them at the car. Some people that uh, I haven't mentioned yet today that have done a lot of work. Uh, Karen Buckley and Cindy Weary uh, have done a tremendous amount of uh, work in uh, setting up our display area, all the decorations, and uh, 
display for the picture and photograph uh, area it was uh, coordinated by Karen and Cindy. Did an excellent job, and uh, they also look after all of the awards uh, that are made in the presentations. Uh, also, like to thank Patty Sharp being here doing all of her picture today, and her assistant uh, Paula Cornish, who has uh, done a great job of making sure that uh, we have photos uh, um, of all of our presentations. So thanks to all these ladies for an excellent job.
honor of uh, class 15, Richard Cow was uh, entry 302, uh, was third for Emily Holstein's Passelac uh, Golden Astra, uh, Richard Golden. Entry number 203 was fourth. Entry 205 was your best ever winner, and we see the Rosette from um, the International. Uh, this entry uh, was from uh, exhibited by Nicole Wood Parmas of Warshire Talent TV, a daughter of the Dean of Park Talent. Over the page, 205, place 5th, 206, place 6, and 207 was your class winner and best friend at home, uh, winning the award uh, from East Gen and uh, the entry from uh, Hodgman and Starbright Holstein, Starbright Mr. Lindsay, a daughter of TCET Mister. Coming in the ring now, we'll have class 16, the Breeders' Herd. Three animals from the same same breeding unit. The exhibitor must be a personal owner of this plan and the group must be shown in the individual classes. And the award for this class is sponsored by Mazak Seeds, Wade and Ryan Finley. So we'll maybe do that one right now. This is what there is. This one's a personal I have no idea. 
dark one must be dying. Natural death. Because the, the red one's definitely dying. We're all dying again.
We also, at this point, have got uh, several other uh, uh, the judges done doing the judging of Class 17 the Dairy Herd. We do have some announcements of our Premier Breeder and Premier Tiddler. Uh, and uh, we will like to get pictures uh, of um, our uh, Premier Tiddler um, and the uh, winner of the Premier Tiddler, the band on the Eli Quality Seeds Woodbridge Imperial is uh, Pro Valley Holstein in first place, and in second place was Maplewood. Also, we'll need pictures of the Premier Breeder. Uh, banners are made by the Victoria County Holstein Clubs, and in first place was Kingsway Holsteins. And in second was Pro Valley. We also have uh, the Gailey Foods Awards, the highest fat production cow of the 2012 show, was entry number 207. Star right, Mr. Lindsay, a daughter of TCT Lister, or Hodgling and Star Right Holsteins. And we'll be needing a picture, I guess, of that one as well. And also in the uh, we also have the high BCA sponsored by the English uh, trailer sales of Lindsay. And it goes to the highest BCA among any class winner and also gonna include reserve brand champion uh, uh, class winner. That went on to entry number 190. Uh, Blue Road Dundee, Emily, daughter of Green Press Dundee, or Yvonne Sicard and Jelaine Lemire. Entry number 190 was the high BCA. The Dairy Herd uh, the award for the Dairy Herd is uh, currently in the class. It's sponsored by BDO Dunwoody, uh, Terry Counts and Consultants.
for the second place was Pro Valley Hostings, third was Valley Steam Hostings, and then for the Frank Darkie and Pan. We would also like to announce that uh, everyone is invited to the tag sale at Salem uh, Holstein's after the show for cocktail hour. As you saw down Barclays Fire, I'm sure everyone knows where Salem Holstein is, just uh, sort of south of uh, town here across the bridge and below the town and to the back there and uh, find uh, Barclays Farm, Salem Holstein's and maybe back over there following the show.
Uh, first coming in the ring will be our intermediate champion in number 181, Erwin uh, Golden Secret, the daughter of Ray Gil Golden, uh, and uh, was exhibited by Baron Yvonne Sicard, Jolene Demir, and uh, Baron London. Our reserve intermediate champion was entry number 172, Public with Goldman Lino, a daughter of Ray Gil Goldman, uh, exhibited by Baron Yvonne Sicard and Jolene Demir. Our first prize for your role was uh, Rupa Dundee Evelyn, a daughter of Regan Press Dundee, exhibited by Baron Yvonne Sicard and Jolene Demir. And our second uh, for your role was Napoleon R.D. Elizabeth, uh, Regan Press Dundee, daughter, exhibited by Kingsway Farms, Trent Ward, and Ronald Weary. Our first prize five-year-old uh, was entry 200 uh, for Kingsway and Trent uh, Ward Farms. Uh, Kingsway from the Gold uh, Drum Stick, a daughter of uh, Regan Press Dundee. Our second five-year-old was entry 198 for Crow Valley Holsteins, Crow Valley Flitz Amelia, and daughter of Houston and Marie Blitz. Our first mature cow was Starbright Mr. Lindsay, entry number 207 for Heisman and Starbright Holsteins, and daughter of TCG Lister. And our second H cow in our parade of champions is uh, Morshire Talent Davy, a daughter of Ladino Park Talent, uh, and exhibited by Maplewood Farms.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a privilege and an honor to judge these great cattle here today. Uh, it's great breeders, great exhibitors, and a big, uh, big, we should give a big round of applause to the breeders and exhibitors of these great cattle here today. And also, I think we should give a big round of applause to all the guys in the back in the barn getting them ready. Uh, they don't come out like this uh, just in one day. And, and a big round of applause also for Big Getting Ready because these cows come out exceptional. For me, uh, these five cows uh, exemplify what, what I look for and what I hope to look for on the breed. Mary strength, again, the femininity, the style. Feet and legs are two intermediate champions. They got beautiful memories. They're feminine, they're long body, they got beautiful ribs. Our pair of four year olds, just beautiful up memory systems as well. They got beautiful balance, track really well. And then our each cow, uh, cow that's had five calves, has stood the test of time, probably the biggest test any cow has to face. I'll now go pick my champion reserve on one mention and give you my reasons. And, uh, and if, as I said before, uh, many great cattle people around, so I get to give my opinion. It's, a, it's been a privilege to judge this show. And I think when I do give my reasons, I'll have a big round of applause at the end of these. And I also just like to take this time to thank Vincent for helping me today. He's been great. Uh, both as a ringman and, and we're trying to venture along. So a big round of applause for Vincent, please. And also, uh, this show isn't done without uh, many people, many uh, volunteers, many people putting their time in. And it's a great event, I think. It's great for the whole scene breed. A uh, big round of applause for everybody that organized this great summer show, please. So with that, I'll go pick my champion reserve and I will mention and give you my reason.
Kobe Quick, Golden, you know, a daughter of Radio Golden for Family Lives to Carry and Julian Debut. Congratulations to all of our winners. A reminder also of the hospitality at uh, the uh, egg sale at Salem after the show. So you drive home, everyone. Our show next year, if you want to start marking it in your calendar, we will be back again next year on July the 26th, 2013.